like boat. <laughs> this is uh, lesson 53. I thought we'd do some more basics on this one before we went to do a full blown painting. I thought I'd give it sort of uh, trees and things, bits and bobs. And uh, we, we'll just tattle it. We don't want to know species or anything like that, just shapes as you'll, you'll sort of come across in, in landscapes, which fit in well. So I'll, I'll do a little bit of a twiddle on this, and, this, and you can, I'm sure you can follow it. Uh, we'll start off with a, a basic uh, winter tree, if you like. So, just a twiddle up there. Get the branches going. Nothing special, I mean, don't want to... It's not going into the... into an art gallery, it's, 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 it's just basically... A nice branch coming up at the side there, like that. That's, and that's done with a, a number, a number, what, number two rigger. That's all of use for that, that's all I need. I suppose if you want to, you can even sort of do a... sort of a, a basic... Which it's, it's done on, on ground like that, so that, that that's all right, isn't it? And then we we, we can get a tree that uh, is more what what can I say oaky, and the oaky trees are, are, are sort of, and especially the ones covered in ivy, they look quite nice in your pictures. So let let's let's do that, shall we? I'll put some more a bit more brown in that. It's a bit a bit bluey. That'll be all right. And I'm just going to hold the brush like that. And just use it as a, just twiddle it through like that, just little bits, and then get the rigger. Of course, the, the the branches come out of the side of this, and it's all this is also sticking out. And it's it's the, the ivy gets all over it, doesn't it? It's, it's in the right state. And it, it eventually kills the tree, but uh, nothing, nothing we do about that. But that's, that's what happens. And of course, be a main branch going up the centre there as well. All twiddly stuff it is. Because there's always branches coming out the side like this and twiddling down in there and fiddling. And of course, you've got quite big trees here, so you're going to get, get at the top of the picture. But not, not, not to worry, it's just the, the example I'm trying to show you. And it's down on the floor here. A bit, bit, bit stronger that one there. A bit stronger this one here. You can see how the ivy's crept up all the branches and that. And that's just a silhouette in one colour there. So of course, you'll, when you do it properly yourself, you'll, you'll, you'll twiddle out with bits of ivy and stuff like that and just make it more twiddly. We'll have another, another branch out here as well. A nice one coming from the centre of the tree and coming forward like that down there. Well, that's how, that's how the ivy takes over, and it's, it's, it, it really does see them off. And there's our, that's our, our oaky tree, if you want. Here again, we can put some stuff around the bottom just to show it's, it's on the floor. Okay. So that's, that's an oaky tree. So we've got, we've got the, the bear tree and the, Oaky tree, still in winter, and then we get we get some more types of winter trees, which is a nice collection of them. Which is they, they seem to grow in, in groups from the from the base like this. At the top of the picture, all the time they are these. They're quite big and they're majestic, if you like. Just 
take your rush at woods. That would be a bit broader down at the bottom there. That would be got another branch coming off the top of there. One coming over there. Well, they just look, look, they look more aloof, elegant they are, these. That's what you get for that, and of course you give something to stand on again. It would have been nice if we put a let's put a bit of fence in there, shall we? I say, I say it's trees and trees and things, trees and bits and bobs and that. So if you've got the the rig, it's a lo lovely brush for, for for doing that. Or if you wanted to, of course, let, let's try this one as well. And we're trying we're trying to cover all sorts of stuff while we while we're doing this. The, the, you've got all sorts of chances and stuff like this to, to work with and choose whichever suits you but this is one one way this is a, a what it's a ooh, half inch flat half inch flat now this this can create you a, a, a nice fence post look, look at this right joe and then use your rigger if you like, and then you can put your top, put a wire on or something like that. And of course, I mean, as I say, it's, it's bits and bobs. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of uh, creating as I'm as I'm thinking, going along. So I think we'll have we'll have a, a, a gate in here, shall we? Into this field. So, so here's a gate post. I want to put a, a gate in here. Th this 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 flat brush is, is is ideal for doing this. This is the gate. It's a three bar gate. This one. One at the bottom. Of course, it's going to have a side member in it, which fastens onto that. Onto this thing here, doesn't it? It's got a bolt in across here. Probably not see the bolt, but there it is. And of course, on the other side, there's, there's another post, isn't there? The other side of the gate, if you like. So that's the gate itself, and then, and then of course, there's another post, which is the the big post which is fastened to. That's there. And then we carry on with with, with a bit of fencing, if you like, just like this. You can even twiddle it on top, whichever, whichever, whichever you like doing. It's all a bit of fun. Put a bit of ground on there. Put a bit of ground on there. Now, one thing I would tell you on this is, if you're doing, if you're doing a, a, a sort of a, a painting or something, got a, a landscape, uh, I always recommend that. Well, I've not finished that gate yet. I better finish that gate. Let's finish the gate. And of course, what do you do? You have a you have, you have two members, one that comes up to the centre there. If I don't put these in, the, the gate will fall apart. They come from down there and they meet together in the top there. And those shots stop it sagging, the gate. But get them the right way around. They come together at the top there, not, not down below. So, right, we, we, we've got a gate there and that, that's fine. But, as I, said, I went when I was saying just earlier, that if you... If you're doing a painting like this, uh, and you, you're putting a gate in or whatever, I, I, I suggest that you, 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 you put the gate open, because uh, a, a closed gate closes the, the, the eye of the, of the viewer into your painting. Now, an open gate leads the, the viewer into your picture. So that's the difference. So I, I think we'll, we'll have to draw one. I'll draw it just below here. But this time it's well. Maybe I'll put it above here. Then I can, I can stop missing me. Where's our gate post? Here's our first post. Here's our gate post here. This one. But this time, we'll do a little, a little short one like this here. Because this time.
the gate. Some strokes like that. This time the gate is open, you see. And if you probably put your fence in there if you like. Twiddle, 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 twiddle. And there again. But at least you can go into the into the into the, whatever you're trying to look. In fact, you can put some little uh, track marks in here to lead you into the into the field. But the thing is, it leads the eye into your into your painting just like that. Whereas that closes it off. Just a little tip, and uh, you might find it useful. Anyway, that, that's and then what would be nice also is we've got nice nice trees stood up like this. Let's put a bit more paint in here. And I'm, I'm using my usual colours, which is the French Ultra and the Dirty Brown. That's that burnt umber stuff. Just give me a nice dark, it does. Right, then I'll say, let's see. It's, nice. oh, it's, it's also nice sometimes to, in, in, your, in your pictures to put to introduce a, a tree like this. I mean by this it's 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 fallen down or it's had its day if you like there's bits off it and and twiddle bits hit the floor of course what you got to do you've got to put some some ground in there like this whatever it is so the tree is down there isn't it it's on the floor so you, 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 it's nice to put a, a dead tree in sometimes, because they're not all all on the bottom living, are they? So that gives you an idea to just drop that in. You might get one or two grasses around it like this, coming, which will grow around it. You flick them up with a rigger. It anchors it down. Put grasses around that if you like, and that one. The twiddle, take the brush off me. Now then, uh, th this this brush, of course, it's 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 so useful for doing uh, things like a, a selection of grass, you know, which which you can you can just shoot, flick your grass in like this and a lovely brush. It is. That's a, that's a, the rigger. Of course, you can you can put you can put some twiddly bits on top like that. Some some. Tops of your, your, your grasses and it could be dead grasses and stuff like that. A little bit, some of that. But it's nice also if you introduce a base for it, something to something to anchor it to the ground. It's it's, it's got to stand on something, doesn't it? So let's let's. It's better when it's it's anchored like that. And of course, what you can get, you can get. Uh, Tall stuff like like reeds. You can get reeds. Let's see if we can do some reeds for you. I said it was trees and things, bits and bobs. Let's see if we can get some reeds. Well, not like that. Your reeds will grow up like this. And on top of the reeds, of course, you get a sort of a like a husk. Uh, like a brownie husk on the top of them, don't you like this? I missed that one. That's that's a bit. That's that's a a dodgy one. That. I so say when you're watching me, if things go well, things will go wrong. But at least I'm honest with you. Warts and all. So you can get reeds in like that, and of course, reeds like some little basic bits at the bottom as well. So it's nice to put that in, anchor it down. And sometimes they come out of the water, of course. Make that into kind of a leaf, that one. Some, some dodgy old leaf. 
There it is. It's belonging to a leaf family. In fact, to, to, to have a bit of fun, I'll put a bit, a bit more leaf in this side as well. So it's, it's, a, it's not on its own, this leaf, it's another one. There. So it's going to mate. Right. Right, to, to other, to go back to trees again. Now, you get different kinds of trees, obviously. So, uh, what I'd like to do now is mix a bit of green. And I, as I say, on, on my palette, I'll show you my palette, which is just here. So that's my palette, all of it. And after all these colours you've got around here, there isn't one green. And there's a reason for that. The reason is it's... If you, I, I tend to find that if people have a green, uh, and they, they need a green, whatever it's for, that's the one they can get dipped in. And then your painting looks all that one green, it looks dead boring. And and it's, it's I think it's rubbish, but, but the way I work is, if I have to mix my greens, they're going to va vary all the time, aren't they? So I'll put some Windsor Blue red shade, a touch of that, and I'll a touch of cadmium yellow. That'll get me a, a greeny colour. Just test it, always test it on the side. What you can get is, is a, a, a tree that you get, uh, how can I say it from it? It's, remember the elm trees, I don't know if you, can, you don't see many about these days, but, but let, let, let's just, just try a suggestion of what, what you might get for, a, for an elm tree or something like that. Where well, you get the, like a, a canopy, it's just on the side of the brushes, number eight, so you don't need many brushes. To, there's a canopy on there, see that. and then you get another canopy down here. Seems to go in, in, in layers, it does. And then a bigger one at the bottom, as it gets heavier at the bottom, it's the, the, the big one comes into play. I'll put a bit more dark in that. That's better. I'm being a Yorkshireman. I do the leaves first, and that saves me having to paint the pen, the, pen, the trunk, doesn't it? So the trunk can only have to do a bit of the trunk, it's, it's cheaper. <laughs> well, that's what people say about Yorkshireman, you know. I don't mind. So let's just, just put a bit of twiddle in here. I can even darken that by putting some more blue in there, and that will. Uh, so the sun's coming from the top left. You'd get a dark under here, won't you? Whereas the sun's hitting the top, it'll be dark on the underside of these branches. Don't worry about the trunk yet. Right, now let's, let's put a trunk in. We'll have a, let's see, what can we have? What about that first colour? I use that, I use that colour quite a lot, as you know, that that raw sienna or ochre, whichever you like to use it, whichever. We'll, we'll stick one of them in there like this, like this. Because it's growing up through here. It'll, it'll start to split. I'll use a smaller brush now because I want to Go back to the rigger again, because the rigger's handy for, for, for little bits and pieces. I can put this down here and then it starts to hold, come off some of all the branches across here like this. And see, it's basically holding the rest of the tree up, but it's, see, it's a certain type of tree. It, it seems to have layers like that. It might be one from behind that, the, going up to this lot here. And then this one to appear there is something coming up here. Should come up to that. 
that will go up to there like that to support them and then this one here will be coming through that tree and support them up there There'll be something coming up there and support that lot so everything's supported by the branches down below and that's your, your, your type of elm tree elm tree look in fact what I might do here just to keep, keep me happy is put up a branch here which is supporting this lot and some, one coming up here to support that lot there it's a stubby trunk because it's a big tree but I think what we'll do now is we'll I'll put a touch of let's put a touch of grass in that and it'll, it'll anchor it down a bit won't it and, and if, you, if you're fiddling if you're really fiddling what you get is you get this sort of thing you get some darks just here because the as it casts a shadow from that, that if the light's from there, you see, then you get the shadow down here, won't you, on the side. And if, we, if, if everybody's having his own, what you'll get also, I'm, I mean, I'm delving into sort of detail now, but I shouldn't, but uh, I will do, just to show you what I'm talking about. I don't want to get bogged down with, with detail, but I'm going through all this just to show you. This is... Uh, See, if the sun's coming from there, you, 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 your side of your tree is, is going to be like this. In fact, I still didn't do it there. I'll, I'll leave that now, but because but that, that's, just, that's the kind of thing I mean. But but what what, what I, I can show you through, I'll show you better by doing a, a, a close-up example of what I'm talking about. That it's probably better. Then I'm, I'm, I'm not confusing you. I say I, I, I realise that this, this this lesson is not for you experienced wonderful painters out there. This is for people who, who, who have joined us who want to start painting and enjoy painting and want to learn painting, and and more the merrier, more of them. So if you got, let's say a tight a, a close up of that trunk there, I'll, I'll do a close up. I'll we'll, we'll have a trunk like this sort of thing. Imagine, don't won't worry about the trees. We will concentrate on the trunk this time. There. Now, if the light is coming from from the left, as we said it is, we'll get a dark on the trunk, won't we? On the right hand side. And if you pull that dark in, while it's still wet, that it'll seep round the tree. Like this, look. You see it seeping round. And it gives you that tree, it will give you that lovely effect of being round. It'll go around, you can see it creeping around the circumference, can't you? I don't know if you can see it close up on that, but, but you can see that colour coming around there. And that's what I mean. That is like that in, in, in detail up there. It'll come at the top of these branches, you can do it like that, you see, if you want to down the side of that one, and that one, and this one here, because they're in shade. Right, does that make a bit of sense? I hope it does anyway. Anyway, this is there. it's an example I just wanted to show you. And uh, let's see, what else, what other kind of trees can we have? Let's have a look. Let's have a think about this. See what we've got. Well, I know, I know what we'll do next. We'll do, uh, we'll do some conifers. Conifers are nice to do, and conifers look nice. So I'll mix a bit, bit more of this green. That's cabin yellow there. It's a lovely colour. And some that winds of blue red shade. Gives you a lovely green, that does. Of course, conifers are a bit darky green, aren't they? They're a bit, they're a bit bluey green. So you had a more blue in there, you see. Make sure I've got the right colour. Right. Now what we get, they're, they're, they're conical shape, aren't they? So we'll say they're, they're, they're more like this. They seem to grow up from the bottom like this.
and then the other side comes up like this. Put the middle, fill the middle in a bit if you like. And uh, that, that's where it, it, I'll, I'll do another, another, another couple for you. Decent nuts. I can do it like that, different way, see? Like that. Fill in the middle stuff. Right, as we've got that there, I mean, that's a bit bigger, that a bit wider. As we've got that there, there's, there's a couple. Oh, let's have another one to hell with the expense. We'll have another one. I'll give you a value for money. So we've got three kind of pieces. Let's have another one here like this. Right, we'll, we'll give them a, a base to stand on. Those feel more comfortable when this 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 they're still on the floor. Now then, right, same same principle again on this is that uh, when you've got a tree like this, the sun is also going to play a part, isn't it? And it's going to be darker on the right hand side, so we need to be dark on that side. This side it's got to be more more bluey tinge like this. Because of the light. This one's gonna be stronger on this side, you see. It's all on that dark side there, because that's dark side, that's dark side, that's dark side. Just this last one here. And here again, if you, if you want to emphasize the other side, the sunlit side, all you do is the cadmium yellow there, which is a lovely color. Stick some of this in, like this look. And you can make it a golden suppressor there. Just put the goldy look in. And that golden golden colour, by the way, is the, the, the cadmium yellow. It's, it's what they call opaque, and it will cover a dark colour, which is very useful when you need to cover. That's that's dark, but but uh, this yellow is opaque, which will it'll obliterate what's below it. Watch, see. So you can use that, and the sun's catching it there. Look. And while that's still wet, they can, you can pinch a bit of that bluish stuff there and intermingle it. Make it a bit better tree. I like to put a point on them, because they always lean over. <laughs> right, is that all right? So that's conifers. Uh, let's have another example of something. Uh, oh, I know what we'll do. Uh, Well, I've, uh, you've seen the Scots pine, haven't you? That's a good example, Scots pine. Now, Scots pine, let's put the trunk in first. The trunk comes up like this. I had to put some, I suggest some mounting to the background, didn't I, while I'm doing this. Some distant mountains. That's it, because uh, it's Scotland, isn't it? 
Scotch pine or all of that. Distant mountains, there they are. Of course, if it's the sun's from the left, isn't it? Remember? So on this side of the, the mountain, it's going to be darker, isn't it? So let's just don't the mountain there, shall we? Right, I digress. We're off with our, our Scotch pine. Scotch pine. That right, Scotch pine will come up like this. A bit thin that. It's a thin pine this. I'll make it a bit thicker. Right, that's a bit thicker. Oops, I'll point out the picture and I'll do that. I'll get shot. And right, the, the branches of, of these, they, 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 they come off the side on, at right angles, like this look. In fact, you don't really need this because what you can do it with, you can do it with the, the leaves. So I'll have some dark leaves on this. Like this. They're a bit uh, twiddly like that. If we come down a bit further, there'll be some more on here like this. Like I've said before, we want to show reality. We want to put some dark on this side of the, the tree, didn't we? Because it's like that one. It's going to be dark on that side, isn't it? Let's get that done. That'll give it shape. That immediately gives it a, a, a sort of a a circular look instead of a, a flat piece of colour. It's the way you tell them. Right, let's see what we're having now. Uh, let's some more branches on this. A bit more dark on there, it's a, it's a, bit, too, a bit too nice. at the top there. And just to continue down the tree. They seem a bit sparse, you know, but uh, but that, that's how they grow. You can't help it. They're not all the same, these trees, are they? A little bit more. A bit more dark on that. I want to probably... Another, well, that's, that's running to the mountain there. We'll have, we'll have another branch down here as well. And one across here. I'd like that dodgy mountain. Now we'll give it something to stand on on the on the the surface here, the the floor. And we'll have some uh well I don't know what it'll be it'll be sort of a scrubby, scrubby land round this one so it'll not be green, it'll be this sort of stuff. That's better than the green, isn't it? Of course, yet again. <laughs> 
You get scattered around this. So what's this? Don't they go? Don't they just go? How it is? Got some shadows on it. Don't get these mountains. You can do it on this side a bit more if you like. And you could bring some some of this greenery, a bit more blue in, and we'll put distant distant landscaping like this, mid mid tone landscape if you like. In the, I shouldn't I shouldn't be doing. Being, I'm just showing you how to do a tree. Right, that's 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 one example of, 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 of trees and that. Uh, let's see what else can I do. I know. Right, let's just just start something up here. This is a another one just here. to do with this. Bear with me. I want to see what we see if we see what it is. Let's What it is, it is blue bamboo. Now, what I mean by blue bamboo, I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to put some leaves on it now. These come up like, like this sort of thing. Let's have a bit of fun this with us. I'm not, to, not trying to do a monster, but I'm just going to show you a little example of something else for a change. anchor that with a bit of grass at the bottom a bit, a bit blue with that I put some more yellow in see it goes, it goes more greeny right bear with me you get that was that, was that number it's number two as well. Anyway, I'm with this one. I'm just going to cut on top of that this colour, which is the our, our, our raw sienna that, and, or ochre, whichever you like to use. We'll put some of that on. I'll use the use the chisel brush again. more 
This is that rosy, and I've put a bit of that burnt umber in to darken it down a bit. I'm just trying to. I love fiddling like this. You probably never burnt bamboo unless you go into China, but uh, it's just a, a bit of fun. I thought it'd, at least if you go into China, you'll know what to expect. I picked this up in China because we're on a world cruise, and you see a lot of bamboo painting out over there. So I thought, well, I'll tell you about that. So well, let's, uh, and that's the, 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 the branches on this, of course, are, are a green colour. The leaves, I mean, branches, leaves. But before you do that, you know what you've got to do is darken, darken these joints. Because they, they, they have a little joint on here like this, look, on bamboo. Darken the joints, it looks more realistic. There, put a little bit in there. If you do it this way, when you do your painting, people say, By Jove, he knows his bamboo. But you're kidding him all the time, you see. But it's nice to have a go. And the reason they are blue are because they're at the back. Does that make sense? So what we can do now is we can put some twiddle on this. Put some leaves on. Of course, the pandas like these, don't they? So this all they the eat these. A few leaves. I don't know. Lots of refined chips. But you never know. They might be nice. But these are, these are uh, 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 more stronger in colour because they're in front. And those blue ones are subordinate because they're behind. I'll just flick a few, few leaves on. Some sticking out the top there. See, it's only a loose painting. Don't don't try and look at a, pa a painting of a, a bamboo and say you haven't got that right, because I know I haven't got it right. But it's just, it's a suggestion of what it looks like. So please take it for what it is. Nice one down at the bottom. It'll be nice, wouldn't it? And I, I say, I can put, if I like, I can put darks in here also, you know, to twiddle it. And, but uh, it was just a, a suggestion, let you show you what, what we do, what, we, what you can do. So this, we've still got the sun coming from that left hand side, haven't we? So we're going to get the dark from that side, aren't we? Same with the grass. Right, 
Yeah, what else can I do here for you? I've done all sorts of trees. Oh, I know, what about a weeping willow? If you go get by the river and that, let's say we've got a, let's pop a river in, let's see what we've got. So here's a river meandering down here. Of course, you're going to get to grass on the side, aren't you, like this? Either side of the river. Down. And it, it seems to, well, the, 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 the trunk of it is, is a brownie colour. You don't see much trunk actually, but it starts at the bottom here and it, and it always seems to sort of, it goes and it leans toward the water, I don't know why, but you get this sort of stuff, you know. That's just a, a, a skeleton, but what we can do is put some greenery on it now. Yes, winter blue red shade and some cadmium yellow. That gives a nice green. Let's just test it. That's a green. Yeah. So what what happens with this? It, it, it comes down like this. It, it, it loops like this. And comes down to the water's edge. But I'll try and use a, a, a rigger, see if I can do it better with a rigger. It, it hangs down. It'll hang down that side as well, but you can't see any trunk on it. It's like a, like a mop, really. It hangs right down by the water's edge. Covers your trunk up and all sorts. And of course you're going to get to by the water's edge there. The edge of, the, edge of this, it's, it's, it's the light from the left, didn't remember? So we're going to get some dark down this where the leaves are coming down. And of course, once it's close to the river, that what you're going to get is you're going to get some reflections, aren't you? So this will reflect in the water, like this. Not too strong. You're going to get this effect. The water. side of the bank here. A bit dark on that bank there. Dark on that bank there. But this is this will come down here as I say. Looks a bit barren just on its own but, but that's that's what you're gonna get. I suppose what you could do is put people in put some a couple of people in. Just to give it a bit of, they're looking at it if you like. There's still on this bank here. An old couple. And I didn't know they were an old couple. I wonder how I knew they were old people. Because I'm old, that's why. So this one's here. And he's got his arm out like this. He's got a stick in his hand. He said, look here, Mabel. 
Because this was Fred and Mia when they were a bit older. Look at this. And she is there, she's smaller than him. Nice lass. And she is, she's having a look as well. And there they are, looking at the, this, this tree. I don't know why, but they are. But of course, if you start putting Fred and Mabel in like that, what are you going to get? You know, a shadow, aren't they? Don't forget that. Like the tree, it's going to cast a shadow across here. There's reflections and shadows. There's a subtle difference in there. Let's say we had a, 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 a river. I've got a bit of space up here. A river bank for a start. We've had a river bank like this. There's a river bank. Here's a river below. A bit stronger post. It's dirty brown. That's better. This post is right by the edge. Now the reflection, I've seen it before people doing it, they, they do it under there see and it's not right, it goes like this. That's how it goes, because it's, it's leaning across to one side, so you must get that right. That's important. Now if it's a shadow, of course, the shadow here will come, light coming from the left again. That shadow will come across here, won't it? Like this. Like that. It's the same as Fred and Mabel. The light's coming across there. That's a reflection. That's a shadow. Don't get them confused. And one thing you must try and remember is when you, if you sat outside doing painting, I hope you do. Uh, when you sat painting a scene and the, the lovely sunny day and you're having your cup of tea and your and your cake and, and, and having a break, and then you start painting again. I've I've seen I've judged painting competitions and things like this and. Uh, one mistake that quite a few people make, and it's, 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 a, it's an easy one to make, is they, they what I call, follow the shadows. They'll start up in the morning and do the first building over here, and they'll look the shadows on it, on it there, and then of course, and then when they get to this afternoon in the building, they'll do the shadows there on that one. So they've got a sun coming from two different directions, and it looks odd, it really does. So the best thing to do, I find, is, if you do your painting, do your, do your buildings or whatever you're doing, or that's it. And then at the end, when the sun is, is where it's going to be, and you're nearly finished, you've got a good indication of where to put the shadows in from. So, so that like, like this here, you see, that would be, that would be, this would be creating a shadow across here like this, wouldn't it? That sort of stuff. From this lot. Because we've said light from the left. This is what you get. So, I sort of say, if, if they were painting this in the morning, what they'd be seeing is, oh look, there's a lovely shadow there, and they put one in here, you see. And of course, then you've got on both sides. It don't work, trust me. <laughs> it don't work at all, yeah. Uh, well, I think, I, I hope I've covered it enough bits and pieces on trees and fire and bits and things and bits and bobs and uh and this this that's it's lesson 43 i think it is uh i think that's all for today folks i hope you've enjoyed it i've enjoyed doing it and uh please give us a like and, and subscribe and i'll see you on lesson 44 goodbye for now folks goodbye <laughs>